guys, it's Arch from Now. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I'm reviewing Concrete by Comme de Garçon. I've had my sample a while and I've been wearing it recently and wanted to review it. I actually really want to smell their one that's called Copper, which is one of the newer ones. I'll probably get to that at some point, but today I'm here to talk to you about Concrete. So this fragrance came out in 2017 and I'll start by saying if Comme de Garçon were going for an abstract fragrance that smells like concrete, stone, building site, they kind of failed. But I will say that this fragrance smells so far removed from that concept that they can't possibly have been going for that. The bottle looks like concrete, they talk about construction, destruction, creation, they've destructed sandalwood in here, or they, it says destruction of sandalwood. I think the concept outplays the smell. So I wanted to start on that note. I know that's kind of negative, but if, you know, if they wanted to create a fragrance that smelled like a building site and stone, I'm pretty sure they could because they do have some very abstract conceptual fragrances in their repertoire. So I was confused when I first tried it, but anyway, I'm here to tell you how it smells. So let's do it. It's described on Fragrantica as a woody fragrance. And before I even read the notes, I picked out one straight away and it's the main player, but I'll get onto that in a second. What are the notes? So the notes here are cumin, cardamom, clove, rose oxide, sandback jasmine, which is Indian jasmine, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. So let me quickly talk about rose oxide. I have smelled a lot of fragrances that have rose oxide in them. It is, a part of rose that uh, is, is found in rose oil obviously and it contributes sometimes a fruity nuance to a fragrance. When I've smelled it, when it's actually been quite prominent, it's been a super high pitched, cold, transparent rose that feels very sharp and synthetic, dare I say that word. I know it's a trigger for a lot of people in the fragrance community, but still. That's just how it is. In this one, it leans way towards the fruity side. It's, it contributes to the smell of lychee uh, and wine, apparently, certain wines. Anyway, let me spray it on and tell you how it smells. So the first thing I noticed before I even read the notes is cardamom. Cardamom, cardamom, cardamom. It's the biggest player here. I was immediately reminded of pistachio ice cream. I know that's not, they're not linked in any way, but if you've ever had coffee, you know, that gorgeous Indian dessert, or if you've had pistachio ice cream, that's exactly what it smells like to me. The cardamom here is green, it's a little bit citrusy, it's very smooth, and it's actually fluffy and soft as well. So you get whacked with a lot of cardamom straight away. It's semi-sweet also. Did I say sweet? I can't remember. We're moving on. It's so prominent. So if you don't know what cardamom smells like, if you've had pistachio ice cream, you will know what I'm talking about because I'm pretty sure that that's kind of what it is, you know? Pistachio ice cream doesn't taste like the nut itself. It smells like cardamom and tastes like cardamom to me. So if you're a cardamom fan, gosh, get your nose on this one. So of course, I was very confused. Where is this concrete? Where is this stone? Where is this abstract thing that I was really looking forward to smelling? This fragrance is actually fruity more than anything. It's got a shampoo type feeling. It's a little bit fuzzy, with cardamom all the while lending its almost soapy greeneriness to the thing. So, very surprising. A lot of people mentioned sandalwood as being the main note. I don't really feel that in here at any part of the wear length. There is a woodiness to it that's behind. Uh, and it's kind of, it's paired together with a, a fuzzy musky smell, not a dark animalic musk, more of a light clean musk, but I would probably pin it down to more of a, a cedarwood smell. That damn cedarwood, it's just everywhere, you can't get away from it. And the fruitiness here is really hard to describe. It's definitely not a lychee thing, even though rose oxide contributes to the smell of lychee. It's, it's a soft kind of fruity shampoo smell. It's not in the berry family, it's not a tropical smell fruit and it's not citrus either. It's kind of like a nondescript fruity cardamom. It's kind of almost like soft almond type smell. Almond cardamom type thing. It feels clean and everything here has got a fuzz around the edge. So that's pretty much how it smells. Cardamom a lot and everything else I just said. When it starts to dry, it gets drier. Um, it does feel like there could be the ever so slight 
leanness tinge of vanilla somewhere. Uh, which is giving it a sweetness as well and it dries and it goes a little bit woodier and again it feels more like a cedar wood to me than sandalwood it doesn't have that kind of sultry smooth powdery buttery uh, sweetness that sandalwood has it's a lot more dry so it's got that kind of pencil shaving thing that cedarwood gives. So what I will say about this, even if you are disappointed by the fact that it doesn't smell like a building site, which is kind of what I wanted, it's got some projection. It's not a strong fragrance in its actual tonality or the way it smells. I mean, it's not like an oriental that's gonna whack you with loads of resins and punch, but even though it's a light, fluffy, fruity kind of smell, you can always feel it. It really lasts and it performs really, really well, which is more than I can say for some of the other Comme de Garcon fragrances that I tried in the past. So, it lasts and it performs. Yeah, where am I going next? I'm not sure. Overall, it's not something I would rush out to buy a bottle of, although I do appreciate that it's kind of different and it's a little bit weird. It just doesn't hit the mark in terms of concept, but who knows what the concept is supposed to be. Comme de Garçons marketing, while being amazing, can be kind of confusing sometimes, but I love going on their site and playing all the games and finding out your scent, I don't know, personality and all those kind of things. That's fun. That's all I'm gonna say about it, really. I will just add at the very end that it feels youthful, this one. It feels like a fruity, kind of thing. I mean, there's no uh, floral here at all. It's got sandback jasmine in it, um, and it's got this rose oxide, but th there is no floral to speak of. This focuses on a kind of slightly abstract syntheticness. Yeah. This review is a tough one. <laughs> now that I've started talking, I'm realizing, gosh, this is a tough one to talk about. Anyway, I hope you got the gist. I can still smell this on myself seven hours after applying it, and that's from a couple of sprays. I have worn it fully where it kind of overwhelmed me a little bit, even though it's a soft smell. So you might have to go easy on the trigger, but obviously, as always, test it out on your skin. I'm just talking about mine. It's my own personal experience. Anyway, guys, that is my review of Comme de Garçon Concrete. I hope to smell copper soon, because that one sounds like it's way more up my alley. Anyway guys, I'm Alex Marmano, trying to make the world smell better, one video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.